If you want to build a virtual museum, you can use the template to do that. Uh, you find yourself here inside the museum. If you want to zoom out, you do that either on a mobile device via pinch and zoom, or you use your scrolling wheel off your mouse. So as you can see here, that's what the museum looks like. You can see the camera here, so that is where the visitor will start. And then you have this whole museum here to fill. If you want to move inside the space without just zooming in, you can also use the space bar off your keyboard. You press it down and then you drag the museum around. So that is also how you can, for example, have this perspective where you are inside the museum and you look at a wall. So what you can do here is basically putting things on the walls and uh, also, of course, modifying the walls. So first of all, to customize the wall, you can double click it and then you can choose a different material here so it looks nicer. Um, and then also you can add, of course, pictures that you have uploaded or you can use videos to put on a wall. So for images, what you will do, you have a few images here already. You drag that picture into your museum, you make it bigger, you double click it and then you attach it to a wall. You can still make it bigger here. You can move it around as well. And if you want to code it, you just say using code blocks. So for example, if you want to add a voiceover to explain what you can see in the picture, you would activate using code blocks and then you would go to code, delete this, so you don't need it. You will make a code block code and then you can, for example, say when Monet one, so this picture is clicked, please play a sound and then you record sound here and then you can use it in this menu. You can also put videos here. So I'm going to show you that as well. I will import a video by clicking upload and then I will choose this video. It's going to load. So I just imported the video and I drag it here double click it, I attach it to the wall, I make it bigger, and then the first thing I will do is that I will double click it again and I will activate coding and also I will disable autoplay because otherwise it will just play automatically and that is very annoying. So we have the video now, it's not going to play, so we need to program it so it does play when, for example, you hover over it. So you can choose when Merkle Gamescom is hovered. And then you have video blocks here. You can say once you hover over it, it plays the video. You don't wait until it's finished, but as soon as you look away, it's going to stop and in order to do that you need to say here pause video or stop video. Pause video means that it's going to pause and if you look at it again it will start from that point where you stopped otherwise it will just start from the beginning. And then of course also you can add for example characters here that can be programmed as well. 
you have to activate coding for that as well. So um, you can, so you can, for example, say that you want to turn him around so he looks at you, and then you want him to say something once you click him. So you will either search for that block again and drag it here, or you can just duplicate it and then just check what his name is, casual boy. So when casual boy is clicked, play a sound and then you record a sound here and you choose it in that box. It is highly recommended that for images and videos you always edit the attribution. So if you use photos that are not your own you need to find some that have a Creative Commons license or a public domain license and then you click here and you enter the title and the creator and the license and then you show it in the shared CoSpaces credits and if you have your own pictures which you can use of course you have to decide which license you want to use so you can be credited if it's pictures that you don't want others to use you just write copyright and in the um, description here you can say for example please do not use the photos and the same goes for the videos here as well you can edit the attribution and you really need to make sure that you do not use any copyrighted material that you're not allowed to use.